Welcome to Torrey Pines State Natural Reserve and its wonderful trail system. I'm Peter Jensen and I'm a counselor with the Torrey Pines Association. And we provide some of the funding to maintain uh, these trails and protect and preserve the park. Today we're gonna look at three types of trails in our 1,461 acres. Actually, we have 12 miles of trail in this small area within the city of San Diego. Some of them are very easy, some of them are moderate, some of them are steeper and more challenging. We're about 300 feet above the, above the ocean here, and uh, the steeper trails lead all the way down to the beach. Most of the trails in the main part of the park start here at the lodge. Let's go take a look at some of the park's more popular trails and some of my personal favorites. The best place to start a hiking or a walking experience at the reserve is right here at the lodge. This is where you can pick up trail maps, check on trail conditions, and a really good beginning to your experience here is this Discovery Trail, which is a very flat, easy trail, handicapped accessible, it's only a half mile long, and it'll give you some great views of both the backcountry and the ocean. A great example of an easy trail is Whitaker Garden. We're up here on the Mesa near the lodge and here you'll discover the low growing plants that are so well suited to this oceanic environment um, with trees in the background and you're going to also find some spectacular examples of our yucca and agaves that seem to push their spears right up to the sky. One of the great things about the reserve is one trail leads to another, oftentimes links up loops, comes back on itself. And this one is a little more challenging to get to from Whitaker Garden, but when you get here, you get a wonderful view of the overlooks that await you on some of our more moderate trails, especially Razor Point and Yucca Point down here at the water's edge. If you go down there, you're really going to get a spectacular experience being right at the cliff edge. Well, we're here now on the Guy Fleming Trail, which was named for the park's naturalist and uh, the first ranger here for Miss Scripps. Well, this is a perfect example of a moderate trail. It loops, it goes out to the ocean, gives you great views. You've got biodiversity. You walk through a spectacular grove of Torrey Pines, including this wonderful duck under the branch spot. And in general, this is our most popular trail, and it, with good reason. It is a wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, now we're on the famous beach trail at the reserve, coming back up from the beach. This also links up with Razor Point. This is one of our more challenging trails here. You can see that it's popular with the runners, but don't let that daunt you. It's also very popular with families with children who are reasonable walkers, and the rewards are great. You get to go to the beach. And not only that, but when you get to the beach, you can continue your walk northward along the sand and beneath our incredible cliffs. The beach isn't technically a trail, but we all think of it that way. As you can tell, one of the great things about the reserve is that it's an island in the midst of a metropolis. And uh, yes, it's true. We have it all here. You're going to see helicopters flying over, planes, trains, and automobiles. But every now and then, actually most of the time, things fall silent as you get down near the beach or as you get behind a, a grove of trees or down beneath a sandstone cliff and the magic of this place happens. Don't forget to come on a foggy day. That's when it's really, really quiet. Nobody else is here. It's your park. It's yours alone. Well, I'm here on the Perry Grove Trail, which is, as you'll see, is very challenging. In fact, this trail is closed. Uh, one of the main functions of the Torrey Pines Association is to provide funding for maintenance and repair on trails that have been eroded like this. Well, we're going to get to this one soon. Well, thanks for joining us up here at the reserve. That's just a taste of what awaits you when you hike up here. Uh, there's a lot more. 
12 miles of trails in all, including trails over there in our extension, which is that green swath over there surrounded by the houses. We preserved that about 30 years ago. So when you come up to the park, have a good time, stay on the trails, carry water, be polite to your fellow hikers. If you're running, slow down and walk past slowly. Most importantly, stop, as they say, and smell the flowers. Enjoy yourself, I'll see you up here.